What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? We got an order, guys. We're going to Tropical Smoothie. We got an $8 order. I think it's, um... No, I'm sorry. We got a $7 order. So that means it's not that far away. Probably about a mile and a half. Woo! Oh, hell no, I ain't going that way. Hold on, baby, don't go yet. Oh, it's backed up that way, guys. I'm going the other way. Hope everybody's doing well. I want to thank God for waking me up today. Today is Forgiveness Friday. We're going to modify that real quick, guys. It's going to be Forgive Me Friday. Um, that way we can get everything on the shirt. I don't want the shirt to look crazy. So we're going to we're gonna shorten that up to Forgive Me Friday. Same thing, you know. So Forgive Me Friday. Um, you can forgive somebody or you can ask somebody to forgive you. I'm gonna make a phone call today because I got a friend of mine that I haven't talked to in a while. Not mad at each other, but he probably mad at me. You know. So I'm gonna ask him to forgive me for, you know. He had did something. I had um and he's back in Maryland. I haven't talked to him since this thing happened. Uh, he asked me to take him somewhere one day. And I, I took him, right? I asked him to, I asked him what time he had to be there because I had something else to do. And he told me what time he had to be there. And I dropped him off. I came back. He called me, told me he was ready. When I came back to get him, he wasn't ready. And because I didn't have extra time to wait, I told him, I said, look, man, I got to go, man. I got to leave you, man. I told you I had something to do. And uh, my time is very important because I had to do something. It was, I forgot what it was, but it was important I had to do it. So I left him. And... I went to call him to see if he made it home. And he sent me to voicemail. You know. I haven't talked to him since. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him a call today. And let him know, you know. If I need to ask him to forgive me for leaving him, that's what I'm going to do. But. I don't feel like. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this situation, but I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna tell him forgive me. I'm, I'm gonna be the bigger person, you know. But he gotta understand when you on somebody else's time, you got to be on time, you know. I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but um, I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm gonna ask him to forgive me for that day. I'm gonna apologize for leaving. I didn't apologize, never apologize for leaving. So it's all about forgiveness, you know what I mean? It's the new thing. So I'm going to be the big person. I'm going to call him up and say, look, player, no, we ain't talked in a long time. I know you're still mad at me for that, man. Forgive me for, for leaving you. You know, and I'm going to leave it at that. Because I don't like people to be, well, actually, I don't feel like I, you know, I think I did what, what I had to do. But still, you know, it created a, a, a it created some friction. This happened like six, seven months ago. I reached out to him a couple of times just to see, you know, Christmas. And I sent him a text. He never hit me back, but I know that's what he's still mad at. So I'm going to ask him to forgive me. Let's see what he say. Because today 
It's forgiveness front or forgive me front. However you want to put it, man. However you want to do it. But we got order, guys. I'm excited, man. I ain't had an order in a two or three days. I've been doing just running my mouth. Just 50. Everybody's doing well once again. Man, Tropical Smoothie is that place, man. You can get some good breakfast, good um, food there, and a smoothie. That's like heaven. You know? And I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts and get some coffee. <laughs> That's a must. You know what I mean? That is. So guys, just to let you know, my Hell No Thursday is going to be a red shirt, white, white, what you call it, I had that, that, I had a lot of people say red with white, so thank you family for that, we're going with red and white for uh, Hell No Thursday. If you didn't participate... You can help me out on I don't give a damn. I'm sorry. Gotta do some shout outs too, guys. So tonight, I don't bowl tonight. But, um, I gotta go get my money. Tonight is payout night. So I don't bowl. I'm gonna get my money. Everybody had to bring some, so I'm gonna go buy some macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna go eat a little bit. It's gonna be me and the wife dinner. I'm gonna eat a little bit, and then I'm getting the hell up out there once I get my money. Oh, Scott Brilla, you gotta let me know if you got them shirts, man. So, Scott Brilla should have got his shirts on Thursday. He didn't hit me back. Day Friday. Hopefully he'll let me know he got his shirt on Friday. I ain't checked my email. I'm at a light right now, so I'm going to check my email real quick. See if Scott got that shirt. It's important that you let me know you got stuff, guys, because, you know, I don't want to make a mistake and send, send it to the wrong address. That would be heartbreaking. You're dealing with people of trust, so you want to make sure that everything is legit. All right, Scott, I just hit, hit you up, man. You should have got your shirt on Thursday. Today is Friday. You should have got it yesterday. So I hope you got it. Please let me know if you got your shirt. I put a little something extra in there for you. You know, that's how I do, man. That's what we do. I know this damn life better change, man. Come on, I've been here for a minute. I'm so happy, guys. I haven't had an order and talked to you guys in a minute. Now I'm going to be late to my first order. Waiting on a freaking light. I'm supposed to be here at 8.30. 8.33. So I'm only a few minutes late. That's right. 
I jumped the bus, guys. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Right, let me go ahead and swipe this app. We here, guys. We here. I'm excited. Almost lost my mind. Oh, my heart just dropped. <clears throat> I thought this said Halifax, Virginia. I'm like, damn, I'm in Tampa. I got a long ways to go to drop this off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, man. Damn. Hell out the way. He all up in my truck. I guess he's trying to see who I am. I'm not a switch hitter, homie. I'm not a switch hitter. All right, guys, be right back. I'm back, family. Hold tight for a minute. They dirty up the lid. Well, it looked like it ran over. So I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. That's just nasty. I don't know why they give people drinks like that. All right. Look like they put too much in it. Then when you pick it up, it's just all on the lid. I don't, I don't like that. It's just nasty, man. All right, we don't look like we have to go that far. Let's see. I ain't did an order in a long time with y'all guys, man. I missed that. 851. All right. We're going to be six minutes early. So once again, if you don't know, when I'm early, I always apologize for being early. Whether it's one minute, five minutes, six minutes, three minutes, two minutes, doesn't matter. Early is early. I like doing that guy because it's helping me with my ratings. You gotta get gas too. Turn right on North 51st Shut up. Street. And turn right on East Fowler Avenue. Turn oh, right on East Fowler Avenue. I'll be fighting with my um, GPS all the time. Mute this half in a minute. In 500 feet, turn left on North 50th Street. And turn Trying to get down a little bit. You drive my blood pressure up, taking me wrong places. I got it, not bad. Just going up the street. Like when I get orders, you know that first order gets me going, guy. That's just like a, a high, you know. Hey, right, two birds fighting in the middle of the street. Somebody gonna get hit. Oh, snap! Let me do this real quick, family. Today is my Friday, man. Me and the white sporty went to the gym this morning, man, but I got off at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I got home, it was after 4. Man, I tell you. Thank you, Kiki. So I'm going to do some shout outs real quick. Demi Hatton. Hemi. What I, I, hold on, wait a minute, guys. I messed her name up. But I want to say thank you to somebody real quick. But I think I messed her name up. Yeah, I think I, I messed her name up. What's up, Dan? But Ben, but don't break. Come on. 
No, I'm on my phone, but you got to get off your phone. We're moving now. It's 45 degrees today, guys. This is hoodie day. This is hoodie day, man. It's cold out here. <laughs> K Hay Haywood, shouting you out. All right, so let's get back to this order. And the smoothie I didn't put in my my cold bag because it's already cold out. So I, I don't need to put that in the cold bag. No. Oh gee, I do need to get up this street. <laughs> this morning guys gas went right back up but it, it, it was up to 219 it dropped down to 213 now so tonight I mean Saturday night podcast is about 2000 I did it um, 80s um, I did the uh, 90s and we're gonna do 2000 because we got some people that send the 2000 on our page we got some youngins Gonna talk about the president who was the president of 2000 gas prices cigarettes dust stuff like that this is a big difference technology wise and whatnot a buddy of mine called me up to my iphone coming out with a new phone i don't give a damn about iphone never had an iphone don't want an iphone and i was like every year you call me to let me know the iphone coming out with a new phone Every year you get a new phone. I promise you guys, he collect phones like it's Michael Jordan's man. He don't he don't resell his phone or nothing. He you just go in his house. He just got iPhones everywhere. I'm like, what the hell? Steve Jobs would be happy to come in here. He just I don't know. I don't know if he's a tech head or a phone head. Every phone this guy ever had, he still have, guys. I am not lying. And it's okay. You know, it's his money. I mess with him all the time. I say, you sure your last name ain't Bell? <laughs> Alexander Graham Bell or some damn body? He showed me a Nokia. When Sprint Spectrum first came out, they had this little Nokia. His phone was about this big. And whatnot. And that was the first person, that's the first people that I ever owed money to. And whatnot. So back in the day, guys, if you didn't know, if you had a cell phone, you didn't pay like you paid now. You paid for every minute. You know? Back in the day, you could get a phone bill to, man, you get a phone bill like seven, eight hundred dollars. One month. That's how, you know, that's how it used to be. It, it wasn't no plan. The plan was you couldn't talk that much. <laughs> and back in the day, man, I got my first my first um, phone bill, man, on my Nokia with my Sprint, Sprint Spectrum account. That sucker said 800 and something dollars. I was like, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. There was no negotiation. There was no nothing. I had that phone for one month. They broke that sucker off. <laughs> I was not paying an eight hundred dollar phone bill, man. They had hidden charges everywhere, so phone bills came a long way. House phone bills came a long way. Then your phone bill came a long way, cause back in the day it wasn't no plan. You didn't have a plan. Like I said, the plan was don't talk to me. Y'all remember those ridiculous phone bills? I remember one time I called my buddy. And his phone was uh, out of service. I walked over his house. I said, man, I just called you. His mom said, ain't no need to call us. We got a thousand-something dollar phone bill. House bill. I'm like, how the hell you get a thousand-something dollar phone bill? She said, this Negro laying on the phone, falling asleep all night long. Him and his girlfriend. 
That was some good time, guy. When you fell asleep on a girl or a girl fell asleep on you, man, that was love back then. Feel me, family? I used to, I man, I used to love talking to my girl. She fall asleep on the phone. I be falling asleep right, but we wake up. Hello, hey baby, you still there? And my father be like, I'm gonna kick your beep. You still on that phone? He had one line. People had to call and interview. When there was an emergency, your mother would call in and interrupt the line. <laughs> boy, you get cussed out. Back then, boy, phone was a, pri a privilege. Now everybody got a damn phone. He showed me all his phones that didn't have a camera on it. It was funny. I was like, damn, boy, you got some dinosaurs in here. Yeah, man. And he got them in cases, man. Little cases. This guy's weird. But who is me to say that he's weird? He's just like collecting phone. So I hope iPhone is not coming out with another phone, guys. They just dropped another phone. I know some of y'all love them iPhone, but damn, you gotta buy a phone every year. Only thing they're changing is the pics. The pixel on this camera. That's the only thing that, that they change, guys. You gotta be careful. Got to be careful. Now, iPhone phone is bigger than the Galaxy now. Such a headache, man. All right, guys, we almost here with our first order. So if I could tell you anything, guys, make sure that everything goes in the bag. Make sure that you zip your bag. I see a lot of people go into a place and their bag is not zipped up. You want to man, you want to hold that heat. You want to catch her, the heat. Ooh. I went to a place yesterday, and I thought this woman was lying. She's like, um, she seen my green bag. She said, we have like three DoorDash bags that somebody had left here. I said, how the hell do they leave their DoorDash bag? She said, I don't know. They just, you know, I said, damn, they must have quit. I'm like, y'all must have made them people quit if they left their bag because you need your DoorDash bag. You know, if you don't have another bag. I said, you pulling my leg, man. She showed me three DoorDash bags. I was like, you for real? I was like, I don't want them things. Them things, things didn't keep the food hot. Some of them do. The new DoorDash bags are, are good bags. The, the ones that I got when I first started with DoorDash, man, that bag don't hold nothing. It really don't. It keep the food um, lukewarm. Bags that I got now, whatever temperature that bag that that food is when I put it in that bag, it stays that way till I get to my customer, and that's what I like, man. I love it when they say, "Ooh, it's hot." I was like, "Watch out, now, burn your hands." <laughs> it was like they be thinking I'm playing, man. When they be getting them. Um, Hot bowls from different places. Man, I put that bowl in that bag, boy. That thing be smoking when it get out. All right, guys. We almost had our first order. We're going to a house. Hold on, we're going to a house. I'm trying to see where we're going at. I don't like these apartments over here. Oh, damn. These apartments over here is retarded. There's a 69. 69. 09. 6907. Oh, come on, man. These Halifax. Halifax. 
let's go see if this is right here. Halifax Drive. Damn, man. You tie your truck up if you don't watch it. Oh, man. Is it back here? Oh, man. This is one. What the hell I'm in? Alright, let's call. Contact. Excuse me, family, I gotta call this person real quick. Christopher. Oh my god. Don't do that to me. Um, Hey, how you doing? This is DoorDash. I'm trying to find you. I'm in front of 6907. So when you turn in, where do you go at? Second. All right, cool. Thanks, man. All right. Oh, I see the building. I see the building. Okay, I see. All right. I hate this place, man. The building's messed up. Be right back. All right, guys. We did our first order. That went well. Oh, we got another order. And Taco Bell, 22. Okay, it's on file. Got another order. We're going to Taco Bell's. It's for seven dollars. Oh my, I'm in the seven dollar bracket right now. Oh, so what I was about to say, family, that went well. I'm early. I told him, I said, uh, sorry, I'm early. He started laughing. He was like, it's okay. I like when people are early. I said, well, since you like when people are early, don't forget to rate my service, young man. <laughs> he said, I sure will, sir. I appreciate you for being early, even though you only like four or five minutes early. I said, early is early, right? <laughs> like they say, late is late, early is early. So I told him, thank you. He told me he was gonna rate my service. That's the only thing you can ask for. I don't ask for a five or nothing like that. I just say, you know, I apologize for being early, and I say, uh, once they once they reply back, you got them. You know, if they reply back in a positive way, you got them. So we're going to Taco Bell. Somebody getting Taco Bells early this morning. We got 22 items. Some of that might be um, the condiments. Yeah, 15 hot. Hot um, sauce. So since I'm going to Taco Bell, I'm gonna take the opportunity to restack, the, um, you know, my napkins, my condiments. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do do some condiments, and um, I'm gonna get some stuff out of there. I do use the hot sauce and the fire and all that. I get out. I get extra of that. That way, when they ask for, I can go in my bag and pull it out if I forget. One of the things you got to really be careful, guys, you got to read them notes. It ain't, it ain't about swiping and go. You have to read them notes. When you when you get there, always always go to the employee, I mean, um, customer notes. I hit that. It's a little orange bar in the middle. I click on that, and I see if they have any special demands. Because they might want this, they might want that they might want extra this and that so if you miss that it can affect your ratings because they really depend on you to get what they ask for right now we need to get some gas what time we got to be there we're gonna get our gas first all right we gotta be there at 9 30 so we're gonna get gas because taco bell's right up the street I think it's a gas station right here. Two fourteen. Gas. Okay. 
got to get that petrol, man. That's what keeps the thing going. All right, guys, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to do one more order with you guys before I go. So hold tight. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm here. At, well, I'm good. I'm at the light now. I'll be at Taco Bell's in a few minutes. Not supposed to be there till 9.30. Oh, 9.29. Same thing. Uh, we're going to be 20 minutes early. Fast food restaurants like Taco Bell, McDonald's, Burger King, whatever um, you may have, have, have it, whatever. Um, I always try to get them, to get to them fast as possible because, you know, you can get the food to the customer real, real early. So I like using Taco Bell, Wendy's, and stuff like that, McDonald's, to get my ratings up. Because if the quicker you get there, the quicker you get that food, the, the earlier you can be makes for a good rating. Like I said, apologize for being early and don't forget to ask them to rate your service. Alright family, I'm already over my minutes because I've been talking. I you know I got excited when I had an order. I haven't had an order in the in the morning in two or three days. You know, I just been talking, I haven't had an order till eleven o'clock, ten thirty, stuff like that. Alright family, so today is forgiveness Friday. So please make sure you forgive somebody or ask somebody to forgive you. Either way you go. I like this saying because, you know, Forgive Me Friday is going to be on a t-shirt. It's going to be dedicated to my man Darius Davis. But, uh, yeah, fam, that, that's part of our channel, being positive and whatnot. And if you ain't got nobody, if you don't have anybody to ask for forgiveness or, or to forgive, then you good to go, man. Then you, you should be stress-free, you know? Somebody call you up and, you know, you don't want to talk to them. Just say, I forgive you for calling me today, but I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> nah, don't do that, fam. But I got to go, family. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. I'll be back to, with y'all tomorrow. We'll talk about the podcast. But it's all about the 2000, man. That bad music. <laughs> but there was some good music in 2000, man. But um, I'm going to find some good music, and I'm going to find some terrible music. And we're going to talk about how bad some of this music is. All right, family, I love you guys. Y'all have a great day. Peace.